What's up, YouTube? It's at JB Tech Fanatic, and I'm back with the Samsung Galaxy Book. Today, I want to talk a little bit about some tips and tricks that I have found that might make your experience a little better with the Samsung Galaxy Book. I went online and I went out to find some bad reviews on this tablet to see if I can find or duplicate the problems that they were having and find some fixes. Now, in my opinion so far, this tablet is a must buy item. It has a beautiful screen, a powerful processor, and so far I really like it. So let's dive in with a few ways that you can make your experience better. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're back in. Now, in front of me is the Samsung Galaxy Book. This has an Intel i5 processor and four gigs of RAM. First thing is, is I found in the reviews that some people were saying that it would stutter or have lack of performance. Now, to be honest with you, when I first unboxed this and I started using it, I was experiencing the same symptoms. But I found something out that you might not notice because it took me literally a few days to notice. As you can see on this screen, there's an icon right here. Now that icon was there when I turned on the tablet after it initially booted itself up. This is the new Windows 10. Now, to be clear, this comes with Windows 10, but there has been many, many upgrades of Windows 10 since its release. Now, I am not talking about the same as when you go to settings in Windows and you do updates. This is actually a new form of Windows 10. So, you have to click this icon. When you click this icon, it's going to tell you that you need to upgrade to the newest edition of Windows 10. To be honest with you guys, this took quite a while to do. It took several hours. However, night and day in performance. <clears throat> now, nowhere on the box or in the instructions did it say that I needed to do this. So had I not found this, I probably would be giving this a very different review because it was not performing very well at all. Once I did that, night and day difference. So go ahead and do that. First thing, first and foremost. <clears throat> now the next thing I did not know is that this has a light up keyboard. Now guys, I don't know if you're familiar with these kind of tablets, but you know, these are basically covers. This magnetically attaches to this cover right here. So when it magnetically connects, that's how all the power is transferred. It is not through Bluetooth, it is not through USB. And then this is back of the case here, just kind of folds over and that's how it sits up, okay? Now this kind of difficult sometimes, see how it falls. So you kind of got to play with this to get it into the right position. Once you do that, you know, then it's okay. But on your lap in bed, it, it's not the best. But the light up keyboard, beautiful. It actually is very good quality. Um, that really took me back. And the other thing is, is the S Pen, this attachment you put on. So it has a little sticky pad. It just goes right on the bottom there. And then the S Pen sits nice and flush right there for you. So you don't have to worry about losing it. That is a very, very big thing. Um, the next thing that I found that is really, really cool is Samsung Flow. Samsung Flow works through NFC. So let's just say that you have Verizon like I do. And this is a Wi-Fi only um, edition tablet. They do sell it through Verizon, but of course you have to pay monthly for it. And it's a little more expensive. You literally tap your phone on the NFC. You then are completely connected to your phone, including to the 4G signal, so you don't need Wi-Fi. That is an awesome tip. Take advantage of that, guys. Um, any Samsung phone has the Flow app, um, you know, the Note 8, the S8 Plus, um, I believe the S7, S7 Edge, S6, those will all work with it. Also, um, you could use your fingerprint at that point 
to unlock your tablet because when you touch it, let's just say the tablet's locked, you put your fingerprint in and boom, it unlocks it. Then you get all your texts, your everything, your photos, you can transfer them and dump them between each other. It works very well and it's really nice. Um, also next thing guys, fast charging. Now I do have last year's model. It would take quite a while to charge guys. This thing charges lightning fast. Um, it's awesome. I love it. Again, I showed the charging cable. It's the size of a cell phone charger. Awesome. Great. Um, the next thing is, is that the graphics driver needs to be updated in this tablet and you have to do it manually. For some reason, I was not getting prompted to update when I was just doing the basic Windows update. It was just, you know, updating different things, but never was it updating that driver. So I manually went in and I updated the driver. Again, boom, performance went crazy. After the Windows update is upgraded and done, you need to go back in and delete the old windows. It took up about 30 gigs of storage. I deleted it. It was instantly freed up. Boom. I had almost all my storage available when it at 128 gig, I think I initially started with about 80 available after I did the new update and I deleted that. Um, I was up to a hundred. So it was very, very nice. So that is a few things about the tablet to get it up and running very quickly. Now, having said that guys, the S Pen is back and it is in charge. This S Pen is just awesome. One, it's not like the S Pen in the Note, meaning it works and functions like it. However, it is like the size of a, you know, a comfortable pen to hold. It's beautiful. It, Feels really nice in the hand. You have all the same kind of um, things that you would have on the note. You have the create a note, the smart select, the screen write. Um, it's really cool, guys, because if you are a realtor and you need to sign a contract, you could do the screen write and then sign. Boom, you're done. You can then send it and it works very fast and very fluid. And again, guys, when you're using Samsung Flow, let's just say you're out on the job, you got your cell phone and you could send it right over immediately. Again, that is a feature that no one can compete with Samsung on. I have had the Surface Book. Guys, it's a great tablet also. I really genuinely think that this is a far superior tablet. I think that some of the bad reviews out there are because people do not realize that they need to do some updates and upgrades. And it's almost unfortunate that Samsung does not make that clear. So hopefully, guys, I'm here to help you with that. You know, if you guys develop more questions about this, please hit me up in the comments. Um, there's so much to like about this. At this point in time, guys, I would recommend this 100% for you. It's a little expensive. I'm not going to lie. I would at least, when you're buying the Samsung um, book, get the 12 inch, look at the Super AMOLED display. It's beautiful. It blows all other competitor screens away. Again, guys, Samsung screen technology is just far superior. So this is a win-win. You do have the uh, micro SD card slot to make this one bigger, but I would recommend getting either the 128 gig or you can double that. Okay. So you get either four, uh, four gigs of RAM, or eight gigs of RAM, and then the same with the storage. Okay, you double the storage of 128. Um, there's about a $200 difference, I believe, in price. So if RAM is important, um, again, guys, I thought the four gigs of RAM was not enough at first. When I turned this on, I thought this thing, I, I was just shocked that they would do that. But as soon as I fixed the Windows update, I updated the graphics driver. This thing, it just flies. I mean, it's fast, it's fluid. I mean, as you can see, there's just nothing that stops it just from being a perfect tablet. You know, if you are a photo editor, get the eight gigs. That's what I would recommend. But other than that, guys, this is a great tablet. Two USB type C ports on the side. Micro SD works flawless. You could pick these up if you need USB. This is a USB type C connector. You put it in, boom, you got it. And then this year's model, you got the two USB type C uh, attachments so you can charge it and you can be plugged in at the same time. So guys, 
Find me on Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. And until the next video, please like and subscribe. Peace.